Hi, I'm Nicky Van Sprang, and this is a day in my life. I'm Nicky Van Sprang, 30 years old, a rower from the Netherlands. Uh, I've been rowing for 15 years now. I'm a member of a relatively small club. I decided, so I studied in America, started at this club. I decided to stay with that club, but they don't have the, like, the newest materials. So at some point, I actually uh, ran a crowdfunding campaign in order to, to buy my own boat, because every year again, I was trying to find a boat I could row in, which was good enough. And there were a lot of people, very nice, and that covered most of the floats, so now I have my own boat. I named it after my grandparents or their nickname, Bobby and Bompa, because my grandma is from Belgium, and it's for Bombama and Bompapa. Uh, so they are with me on a daily basis. <laughs> Getting into the boat never really got easier for me. I don't know why. If you see that, you still think uh, I'm a, it's amateur hour. Travo, it didn't happen, is also the case for us. The coaches want to see everything we do, so we have recorded all. Not for Strava, but for training speaks. So if I don't stick to the training, I'll have a WhatsApp when I'm back. It's like, what, what did you do? The feeling of a boat going moving through the water. Uh, that's a feeling I just love. Uh, you hear that water moving past, past the bow. Uh, you try to perfect that one motion, hours and hours at a time. And sometimes you get it, most of the time you don't quite. And it's really, a, a, for me, it's a meditative motion. And I only realized that a couple of years ago, after doing a, a week of silent meditation retreat in, in Thailand, and it was really at the end of that week I realized that what we were practicing there with focusing on our breath for that week, how similar that is to what I'm doing in a rowing boat on a daily basis. And that's just the feeling I fell in love with. What's the correct way to wear a cap? Obviously backwards. Stupid question. Next. <laughs> Welcome to the Olympic Training Center. That's where we do most of our training, really. Here at the, the Boss Band, the, the Olympic rowing course we have. All the erging, weightlifting, we have uh, some lunch. Gonna eat something now, everything in here. So after practice, we get uh, some food options here. Today it's only some yogurt. Uh, sometimes it's like more of a, it's like a box with more of a meal which is always nice because you're often hungry after practice. So. This is our homemade granola. In Dutch, we would say uh, luxe paardjes. What career moment am I most proud of? The first thing that comes to mind is European Championships last year. We were a new crew, we wanted to prove ourselves at the eight and into our first race after 30 seconds, we, the boat just completely stopped because of that mishap and we were length behind and we fought ourselves back to a silver medal, which was quite special. My motto after a lot of years of rowing this way is that it's important to keep the balance and be true to who you are as an athlete. Often there's a perception of how you're supposed to chase a certain goal. For the athlete that would be go to bed at 8 o'clock, uh, eat healthy, don't drink alcohol, don't party uh, and, and train as much as you can. That can be true if you're somebody who that fits, but for me that doesn't fit. So Nikki Van Sprang likes to party from time to time. I did say that. I also did not not say that. <laughs> and in the end, 
A happy athlete is a fast athlete. If you want to keep doing it for a longer time, if you want to succeed, and if you want to enjoy it, you have to make sure that the process is something that fits you. It cannot just be about the result. We're blessed in the Netherlands. It's uh, usually not, no ice, and we could just go out and row, except if it freezes after all or it's too windy, we, we grab the urk. Uh, and usually people are not all that happy then. So I'm always quite happy that I have AXA because it actually breaks out the routine. If you're just looking at the same piece of wall, it gets rather boring. Uh, and with AXA, I have something that keeps me busy, keeps my mind occupied. I really didn't ever do any sports back when I, when I was smaller. Uh, I partly grew up on a farm, so for me there never was a reason to, to do any sports because in the weekends we were always at our farm. He was the cutest little boy you can think of. This vind ik zelf ook vrij grappig. He was really sweet. And he was very strong. I remember that he was, I think, a year or two or three. And he was carrying big bags with potatoes. I thought, how can a little boy like him carry these bags? But he could. Most parts of life, all that training isn't really all that useful. It makes you go fast in a straight line in a boat, but for the rest, quite useless. But moments like these. I was about 15 or 16 years when my mom said, hey, if you want social media, if you want on Facebook, you want to, on MSN, that was still a thing back then, uh, you have to sign up for, for a sporting club. And I tried some things and nothing stuck until I walked into the rowing club and I fell in love with the rowing sport. I suggest before you go to Facebook, or how it was called, Hives it was called at that time, you go to a real sports club so that you can message and text with real existing boys and girls. Suggested. Yeah, that was... <laughs> Suggested. I urged him, not to say I forced him. But I do think if you would ask him, this is the best action <laughs> that I ever undertook in his education. I don't know if it's the best, but it was a pretty decent one. <laughs> and we wouldn't be here without, so. That's <laughs> it, yes? Yeah, yeah. Am I a family man? For the last couple of years, I had the privilege that a lot of that my family, my mom, last World Championships, my girlfriend, my sister, all have been there for the races. For a long time, I used to say like, yeah, if they come or not, it doesn't really matter. And I started realizing that it, I, I like it quite a lot if they're there. So, this was a day in my life. I hope you enjoyed following along, and maybe I'll see you soon on Exer.